Hey guys, Greasy Bear here, and today I'm going to show you how I make a cube and I apply Kit Ops bevel to the cube to make some really cool worn looking out stuff. So let me start off here by creating a cube. I'm going to show you something very simple. Uh, I'm going to take maybe uh, some of Chip's cutters here, or some, uh, maybe his basic cutters. <clears throat> I'm going to let the let me let my uh, K-Packs load. I have quite a bit to load up here, so once the thumbnails roll in, I'll be happy. Okay, the medium cutters, uh, I'm going to take... Um, actually, let's go to his complex. And grab this one and just tuck it right here. Yeah, it looks kind of cool. Tuck it right there. And then I'll go to his medium cutters and uh, I'll grab uh, this one and I'll slam that one like right here, make it a little bit bigger, something like that. That's cool. Um, uh, yeah, that's okay. So yeah, it looks about cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get destructive. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to hit the convert the mesh. That way I can get rid of the cutters. Because I'm not trying to be non-destructive here. I'm trying to just show you as a demonstration how this works. So I'm going to remove the cutters. And, okay, next I'm going to pull up my bevel. And the step one is to choose the bevel mode. The bevel mode I'm choosing first is normal. Normal always first. Uh, step two is the UV unwrap. So the UV angle limit has to match my cube here. So down here in the... Uh, the properties you want to go to your normals and you want to hit your auto smooth uh to 30 and you want it to match your angle limit up here and it also cleaned up the uh the geometry um i'm going to mirror this i'm using hard ops and i use box cutter i'll have all the descriptions or all the links in the description of the video so i'm going to mirror this again in the back like so um, and I'll even mirror it one more time on the bottom to just give us this crazy looking cool box that I just want to apply the bevel to it. So it's all kind of jacked up. So, uh, I want to click the box and now I said normal bevel, the angles on 30, we're on 30. Um, I, there's some modifiers that are applied to it, which is the hops mirror. So you come up here and click apply to modifier. Um, that'll apply all the modifiers that are on the cube. You cannot run the bevel with any modifiers. So the next move is to UV unwrap the cube, which I'll click that now. And at the bottom of my screen, I can see it unwrapping. Once that goes away, I can move on to the third step, which is adjusting the bevels, uh, you know, adjusting the actual bevel. So on the normal bevel, um, I normally keep it around 0.02. 05 is a little high for me. And then you can click preview and it'll give you a preview of, you know, the, the 0.02 bevel, which is, which is nice. Not too much. Uh, 05 would have been definitely too much, but that looks okay. So my next step would be to stop and step four would be bake the images. So, um, your texture resolution can go from 256 to 8k. I'm doing this at 1k and the normal space can be object or tangent. Uh, and this demonstration will be object at 1K. So at this point with the object selected, I'm going to hit bake normal. I'm going to look at the bottom and it's baked. And then I'm going to generate the material. And then I'm going to go to my material mode. And you can see that there's a bevel on it. And you can see it looks good. Yeah, you can see the bevel all around it. Okay, so the next step is step one again. You start over and then you choose the worn bevel this time. You skip step two because the box or the cube has already been UV unwrapped. So step three, you're going to adjust the bevels of the mask, which is going to be the outer worn edge. So this says O2. Uh, it's recommended to double it. So we're setting it to O4. I'm not going to preview the mask. And I'm keeping the texture resolution and the space at object. And now I'm just going to bake the mask. And I'm going to wait for it down here at the bottom and it's done. Now I'm going to pack the modified images and then generate the material. So there's our bevel right off the gate. And I'll tell you, it, 
it looks pretty good. That's with right out the gate, no adjustment. Very cool. Okay, real cool. Okay, so the next mode that you would do would be pull up your shader. And now here's the way here's how you adjust the actual bevel. This one right here. The scratch width, the scratch amount, the scale, and the brightness. Now, if you take the scratch width and you just pull it all the way down, you'll see that it kind of just goes into a smooth surface. But as you pull back, it'll show you the scratches. So you kind of got to jig around, come up with your own conclusion. Uh, then there's the uh, the second one's the scratch amount. Same thing. Back it all the way out or push it all the way in and then just kind of tweak it in real slow. You can hold the shift key, come up with a tweak. Uh, the scratch scale is the scratch scale. I usually don't even touch that. Every time I've used bevel, it's the, the scale's been pretty on, so I haven't been really concerned with it. Um, so the next step is your, sc your scratch brightness, which is basically this will show you how much it's going to merge with the normal bevel and then the, the hard edge. So you're kind of basically just mixing the normal and the worn edge together to come up with an idea. And yeah, we can come up a little closer and you know play with the brightness so you can go straight to normal bevel to just hammer it into the straight edge so i like to come in a little bit and then uh, to me the bump on it is the last thing you would adjust or i would adjust and 0.5 is is a little bit high and i think it's done on purpose so you have to adjust it so about one is too much or too little so about a 0.2 you can actually see it and on certain angles, and when you throw lighting on this, it's the angles will show the uh, the actual the bump. So you don't want to go too high on the bump because then it looks completely shitty, like overkill. So I turn the shader down here, and the next thing I want to do is I'm pretty happy with the with the bevel and the setting and all. So what you want to do now is you want to change the material because you don't want to use this red box. So I click off the material and I use uh, Kit Ops and I use the EMS system, which works very well and very well with bevel system. And I highly re recommend that you get the EMS system as well. And that'll be in the, uh, in the description. I'll have a link for that as well. But um, I usually go to his plastic plus paints and there's this black dapple. I like using this. Uh, I'll just add the insert by itself. I'll move it out of the way kind of shrink it down a little bit and i'll go into my shader and under my texture scale i'll i set this to 20 20 and the bump to zero um because i used this texture before and i like it i like it this way so it's kind of my own personal preference so i'm going to bring this over to here and what we're going to do now is how we apply this color to this box is you're going to click on the box and you're going to go to your bevel tab and under your step five generate material you're going to click the normal bevel side and you're just going to pick that plastic dapple and then reapply the generate material so there you have it now you have that material on this here uh, i don't have the worn bevel on so let me generate that again there you go. I'm sorry. I switched it over to normal bevel. Keep the worn bevel on to use both. So, okay. So here's our, our box now with just the black with the bevel on it. And the way that you would adjust this now at this point, which this is your base color. So this is what you're using in, in your generate material. So this is the material you would adjust in order to reapply it to your, your beveled, your beveled object. And let me go ahead and give you an instance on that. So a demonstration. So I'm going to take this black apple here. We'll make it like we'll bring the color up. We'll make it like a, almost like a construction kind of yellow. Yeah, somewhere around here somewhere. Yeah, somewhere like that. So it looks like it, it could be a construction piece or something. So after that, the next thing you would want to do is introduce... A dirty node which 
in the EMS system, there are dirty up and dirty down. And these are dirty nodes, dirty up nodes. So I like the dirty up one. So I'm just going to add the insert by itself, move it to the side, reduce it. I mean, you don't even really need it once you import it because you're going to click this here. You're going to click back to the dirty node down in your materials or uh, shader. You're going to copy the dirty node, uh, which is control C and you click on this one here and here's this other material and you're going to paste it right there. So we're going to control V that dirty up and I'm going to drag it right to here and let it connect. And then here it is applying right there. So at this point, you want to go down here and adjust your dirt volume, which I'm going to set that to about half. So it's not really that high or that, that dirty. I'm going to set the height a little lower. So it's running up a little bit and the scale. Uh, it's going on a bigger object. So I would say, you know, somewhere around there. It's, I'm just guessing for now. Um, so then at this point, you go back to your main cube, click on that, go to your bevel. You're still on this plastic mat, but you're making all the changes to it and you're going to hit generate material. And there you have it. And now we're getting somewhere. So now it's starting to look like some piece of machinery, some old, you know, you know, some old jacked up stuff. And as you notice, the bumps, the bumps actually, you know, standing out a lot better on a lighter surface. So then you go to your cube worn bevel and then you can probably it reset the strength of five. So let's just kick that back down to two. I guess when we did some adjustments, it reset them. Yeah, it did. So it's fine. We can always go back and adjust the bevel at the end when we get our, when we get our final result. So to me, this looks like I would want to make this a little bit more yellow because it's it's dark so that looks like more like the construction color and then all you just you're just going to basically click it <laughs> and generate material uh and yeah that's it this is uh kid ops bevel with the ems system and um honestly you take the uh this is just the outer the outer normal bevel uh, we can also adjust the inner bevel as well. Uh, we'll go to kit ops and I'll go to a metal. I'll grab this, uh, this steel distressed and just add it as an insert. See, it's got texture on it. It looks cool already. And then basically click on this cube and go to bevel. And then underneath the worn edge, you're just going to pick the steel distressed and hit generate. And then when you go into the beveled areas, you will see... You know, the bevel, see that the beveled areas have texture on them now as well. So very cool. Very cool indeed. This is amazing product. It works awesome. And uh, let me let me tell you, we could take it one step even further. Um, I have Smudger Pro. Now, if I was to use Smudger Pro on this, I would select this, go to my materials, and I have presets, uh, I have brand new, dusty, well used, very used. So I'll go to this well used and hit an automatic setup to this node. And let's see what it does to the material. <clears throat> okay, let me zoom in a little bit. Um, turn this 3D view off for a second. There we go. Let me get up here. Okay, so when I zoom in here, so now, yeah, this has uh, scratches and dust and, and uh, all kinds of bullshit on it. So the smudge did not look like it's patterned here. It looks like we need to adjust that. So I'd hit the smudge over here, um, change it down to wipes. You got stains and all. It's really cool. Uh, but I'll pick like these, this wipe. And then I'll uh, kind of reverse it so it's shiny, make it stand out a little more. Um, it's going to be huge. So I'm going to adjust the scale on it to be really big because we're going to put it on this huge, this huge, like, 
you know, piece of equipment. So, yeah, so it's starting to look really cool. It's got smudges on it, scratches, everything. It's got dirt node on it. Uh, you know, it's, it's the only thing I can possibly do with this thing is change the color. And down here, I can show you the whole setup. So here's the original EMS system node that we put together. The system, and then here's the dirty up node. And the dirty up nodes going into the Smudger Pro setup, which this is this real intricate shit. That's a Smudger Pro and then out to this. So you can still go in here and make changes uh, if you wanted to make the color of this anything and do anything you can. But, uh, you know, so I make it a little bit more orangey like that or and maybe up a little bit. I don't know. I try and make it more mechanical. But it, it's it's up to your liking and what you want to do. But anyway, so I'm finalizing this up now. So at last but not least, with all this applied, you click on your object, you go to bevel, and you're going to hit generate material. <laughs> and there you have it, folks. Let's get the good angle on it, and you'll see all the smudges, all the, uh, the scratches, uh you know the dust the dirt the bevel i mean the thing looks incredible it really does and uh you know if you're not happy <laughs> you can always just uh start from scratch and bring in uh say another just another another node and then add that inset in and move it to the side and click on the box and just uh in your bevel come in and, and pick that plastic grub and generate and now you're back to you know having a, a regular material um one other thing chip had that was really cool with his ems is uh with the bevel system he added uh he had a gun metal so i could show you this this looks really sharp so he has a gun metal material here I'm just going to add that in and then he has a gun worn material. So I'm just going to actually, I'm not going to, yeah, I'm going to add that as well. And I'm just going to have these two nodes here and you can see they're both different. So I'm going to select the box, go to the bevel. The first, the normal one, I'm going to make gun metal and the worn, we're going to say gun metal worn and we're going to generate. So this looks really, really good. If these two materials look great together. Problem is the bump's way too high. And all you have to do is just go into your your bump here and make it like a 0.15. And it'll really, it really pops. It really looks good. Look at that. So that's the gunmetal look. And uh, that comes with bevel and the EMS system. So you might want to look into that to make some really cool worn looking edges and some really cool worn looking pieces, you know? So I hope this video helped you out guys. Uh, I'll have uh, links to the add-ons in, in the descriptions. Um, always thank you for your support and I hope you learned something from this and reach out and let me know, leave some comments and uh, let, me, let me know what you guys think. All right, so I'll talk to you later, man. Bye-bye.